Hey guys, welcome to 10 More Minutes. I'm Chris. And I'm Sam. And today we are playing Grease, as I've Oh, under- Grease? We're understood. watching the musical? Oh no, we gotta get out of here. Somebody somebody shut this off. That get, it's con- considered it. to be called. Not no. Chris, as it looks to be. Um, It was given to us by the Grinning Gamer. Thank you. Grinning Thank you, Gamer. Grinning Gamer. But I don't want to be in Grease again. I was in it as a child. I don't want to do it again. Don't make me. I don't went, make me be in it. I went to the movie theaters today and they were like, uh, they had like a trivia before. Yeah. And they were like, what's the op- what's the opposing gang's name of uh, in the movie Grease? Travolta Boys. That's who it is. <laughs> That's the name of it. I guess they're it. called the Scorpions. Oh. I've never That's seen, way too cool of a name for Greece. I've Greece is seen, a worse name than that. I've never seen uh I've never seen the movie, so. Uh I saw it in elementary school because we did a play of it when I was in third grade. Um She she's doing a float. She is doing a float. They did a nice job of kind of getting that watercolor aesthetic. I feel like they did something like they did with Chowder, mm-hmm. where like they painted the watercolors. Oh, oh no. In Photoshop, and then kind of has a texture behind it. So then, like, they just animate it, and then it follows the character around, which is super smart. Yeah, I love that. I that kind of like a layer on layer type of deal. Yeah, I wonder if they scanned in the watercolors because getting that watercolor set it can be very tricky. Probably. It's really beautiful. Like, and then this just is set like really an al- nice like an alpha channel over her dress or whatever. Yeah. Ooh. Like I, I'm not sure how even Chowder does. It. I think Chowder did it by just. I get like I think through After Effects you can do it, but I'm not exactly sure. I'd love to see like a how-to video on how they do those pattern designs. I'm sure there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff for this game because they they did it all like a big uh, like a big art art style game. So. Oh yeah, it looks very artsy fartsy. I'm on the uh, sticks today, so yeah. Sam can do the full uh, artsy fartsy talk. <laughs> artsy fartsy talk allows me to kind of focus, and in that way, like I can be as accurate as possible without making any mistakes but yeah seriously i haven't I'm heard glad this isn't based on greece don't yeah. want <laughs> don't want Gris. No, john travolta is good in one movie and that's uh no wait that's not fair he's good in, he's good in two movies one movie. he's good in bolt and he's good in pulp fiction that's he's, it he's in bolt the dog movie yeah he plays bolt the dog he's oh, actually shit. really good in that movie i'm like oh i'm super surprised okay my last is all right um, Published by Devolver. Oh, I did not know this is a Devolver game. This is a little bit out of their territory. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, they're, it's indie title, so... So it's going to end up like a Tarantino film then. It's getting really nice, and like everything's kind of... So I was like, oh, this is going to be a nice, peaceful game. It's going to start nice, everywhere. and then it's going to go full uh, Hotline Miami. Yeah, yeah it's just going to be a butcher shot. This is the prequel to Hotline Miami. This is where <laughs> you start getting the mask. Like, eventually she turns into a peacock, and which eventually evolves into a chicken, and then her head like transforms and then it gets displaced oh, into another universe. I can move. Wow, this is really beautiful. That is really good. Holy crap. That is super nice. Super it reminds smooth. me of uh what was the Halloween game that we played in the snow? Oh um Year Walk. Year Walk, yeah. It reminds me a lot of whoa, Year Walk style. I very like this. She's like very slow right now. I got to yeah. figure out the controls. Hold it's on. got a very cool art direction. I love the fact that they kind of keep a very flat color mm-hmm. without any kind of um, texture well, uh, she on like, her main cape, but they she keep like it for lost her hands her, and stuff. lost her voice, so I think she lost her like cape. Uh, Can you move your dresses. legs up and down? I, mean, I can't jump or anything. Like this is just yeah, this is really impressive. Like this is it. to do this, like yes, you can animate it, but it, there's a whole level, another level of complexity when you're trying to animate something and then also make it into a gameplay mechanic. Yeah. Do you see it like the film grain on it? That's really yeah, cool. Yeah. That's really nice. I, love I saw that, that on the uh, bits of lens flares. Yeah, I saw that on the uh, uh, opening menu when they had the little uh, film grain on there. I was like, that's I mean, tight. it's funny. There ah. was um, ah, look out. Ooh, yeah, watch out for those bird people. Uh, there was, like, a debate. I mean, Twitter's a cesspool of, like, people yelling at each other half the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but someone, of course, like, I follow mostly artists. I'm like, ah, oh, tired of the 3D and 2D debate. And I think, you know, how, so, like, 2D artists love to get on the high horse, like, that apparently, like, 2D is considered more noble or something like that. And I, don't I guess because think... it's, what, closer to the old style? I guess it's because it's closer to the old style. I, I think that just 2D has the availability of being easier to do stylistic difference and while a lot of 3d has a similar look and feel to it so i think a lot of people gravitate because it's 
in some ways, it's Ooh. a lot easier in 2D to do a different style than it is in 3D. Yeah. In some ways, in some ways not. I love both. I like the I like the little style yeah. of the background here with just the simplicity of the lines. Oh god, it's great. Back. This is uh this is my jam. This is the kind of stuff where I'm like, ooh, simplicity over design. I was actually talking to an art buddy of mine. Um Her jump feels about good too. Pokemon stuff. Yeah. And how just as designers, not even just directly against Pokemon, but as designers, we can often do too much in terms of stuff when really what we need to do is <laughs> simplify a design down. Yeah, that's a lot of what, uh, I'm hoping these don't hurt me. Oh, God. Okay, cool. That's a lot of what uh, Pokemon is like, right? Yeah, that's what, that nah. was the root of the conversation Whee! where we were talking about where like, because there are no limitations, and I feel like this translates into film as well. Yeah. When you have limitations, they're not always bad. Sometimes they can really lead you to making creative decisions that you normally wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. um, I thought Batman the Animated Series is kind of a good example of that. Like, they had a lot of limitations with the FCC and things they could and couldn't show. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. So, yeah, you had to get really creative. Whoa. Like, how are we going to show this? And oft more often than not, I feel like it allows, it forces you to be more creative. You're like, okay, how do we do this with subtext? Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's why I like old noir movies as well, because they didn't have the option of showing a sex scene they gotta yeah. figure out how to imply that without you know you also just gotta, straight up showing it you also gotta imply it without talking down to your audience exactly too, too. like you have to find a smart way of doing that and batman they made series and a lot of noirs did that back in the day i found the ball Ooh. oh and it's gonna follow me around yeah, this is really cool. Like, it's got like a little, it's got a watercolor texture yeah. throughout, like on all that stuff. It's very subtle. Yeah. And just, I like the color palette the, too. The music is is really great. I'm, I'm loving the, like, the very chill, like yeah. uh, like uh, rainy day lo-fi. Not even lo-fi, because sure. I mean, it doesn't really pick up. It hasn't really picked up It's that something much, that but. I got to look, look into, because we'll be doing an art stream Soon. In the soon, um, I'm gonna set some of that stuff up this weekend. Mm -hmm. I gotta find out what I can play in the background. Yeah, because I love I love that watercolor right there. You see that? The, like the just yeah. the change in the tone between oh, the yeah. grays. I've been having a lot of fun with my watercolor stuff as I well. I saw that. I yeah. saw that. What the hell? <laughs> what is this portal? Can, can they hurt me? Uh, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like they kind of move in the background. It kind of this kind of reminds me a little bit of Journey as well, and I mean that in the highest regard because I love Journey for the e PlayStation Three. Yeah. I haven't, I didn't play it, but, um... That would be a it does, fun... It does a lot, huh? That'd be a fun game to play through, because you can finish it in an hour. It's yeah. not very long. Ooh, um, I, I, I still I have it on my. I still have it on my PS3, so, like, I still have a copy of it. We just have to hook it up. Nice. You might nice. be able to do some kind of, like, teleport thing, or you need no, to get No, I think three? I need the third dot, yeah. Oh. I like how they, they telegraph it to, to show that, uh, you need to grab the third one somehow, uh, by showing that, uh, the, it, the last one lit up. Gotcha. Red. I think well, I gotta weigh this Tower of Pisa. I don't know who the or not who some of the artists were on this game, but if you guys know before I end up looking it up, which I, I think it said in the beginning, right? I didn't get a chance to look I, at I it. I was either. too busy paying attention to her like really good falling animation. That's a really cool uh, and yeah, that bird type thing. That is nice. Oh. That is some really smooth line work. I control it, I think. Uh, Please. <laughs> uh, so kind of like astrological symbols. Yeah. Too, they got like little uh uh, limited frame way that they go about it too. Like when they follow you, see how they're like, mm -hmm. like they're they're following a connected dot. Like this is a game I wouldn't have a second thought of paying for, even if I didn't like the game. Kind of mm -hmm. like Papers Please, didn't really care for it. But it's such a cool artistic, out there game that I can recognize. Like, oh, that's really great. I want to support those guys. Give them some, yeah. Give them some cash so I we have, can keep making cool stuff. I have no idea what the story is, other than it seems that she lost her voice. I prefer games when they don't... I like things with exposition. Yeah. I mean, I like the prequels. No, so there's the hand that I was on. That thing is full of exposition. Oh, they, I like political thrillers. Nailer. Oof. That's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Um, Lift me back up, please. This isn't... Tickle, tickle. I'm trying to think of a game where like you have a giant hand that you walk into. This isn't uh, Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> Though it kind of gives me a little Whoa. Shadow vibes. Ooh, and I like that they changed the opacity yeah. in some of that as well. That's nice. That's like, really nice. I really like the little bird thingies. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> They're like squids in the in the tiny versions, but then the big one kind of has like yeah. the big flappies. It almost has like a jellyfish like appeal yeah. to these animations where everything has kind of got a little bit of a flow and a smoothness to it mm -hmm. that I can definitely get behind. I like the the like the, the 
frame rate that's on her actual dress. It, oh, it feels yeah. like overly animated. Not overly like it's bad, but yeah. I mean like compared to everything else. It's not Don it's Bluth very overly flowy. animated. It's just at that nice little level of mm-hmm. animation where it's like, oh yeah, that's the perfect flow. Yeah. And like it hits it's probably every and, and and mass to it. Yeah, every like three or four frames, but <gasps> God, it feels nice. And that's one reason why I like Journey as well so much is like it's 3D, but it kind of had that same feel to it with its animation. What is this? You need two. They're, they're they're boobies and then just the nipples. So apparently you're doing a sexual act <laughs> because that looks very phallic. It's, in it's red with passion. Oh yeah. Ooh, is it that time of the month? Oh God. <laughs> There's, hey man, so I can't tell like quite. Uh, I couldn't see where the balls were going. I was like, uh. oh, okay. I think I see them. <laughs> They're so tiny on the screen. Uh, so we're filling up the night sky. I wonder if we're building up like another hand or something. Maybe, maybe. The music's so calm. It is very calm. Butterfly, come back. Yeah, one thing I really appreciate so far is just it's really hard and it's really easy to over render stuff when you're doing illustration work and doing anything like here. Like, but I love that there's like there's no shadows. They don't have shadows going on. Mm. They just have different little tones to let you know, hey, that's the background. This is the foreground. And like even just slightly grayscaling the things that you can walk up on mm -hmm. is like a nice indicator, like, hey, Whee! you can you can touch this. Cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 100% guess no fall damage then. <laughs> yeah, either that or that's the pit from Bloodstain. So we're gonna go under there and fight the Umbrella Lady. Oh God, Bloodless. Oh yeah. Too Filled much with blood, blood, but her name is Bloodless. Um, yeah, not, not the greatest naming in the structure. I'm not gonna go that way. I don't know if that way goes anywhere, or if I can even get hurt because it does. Okay. And you're falling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Yeah. What are we in Sonic the Hedgehog three now? Where's our snowboard? <laughs> That's smart too, just that little little boop of animation with those two little clouds. Yeah. It looks nice. Uh, it looks it looks really good with the depth and everything to it. Yeah. And yeah, oh, this is definitely my jam. This, like, this is Mike Magnola level stuff where it's just like, how do we simplify this as much as we can? Mm-hmm. God. It doesn't need much. It doesn't. Uh and like now they're doing some cool atmospheric perspective stuff, like in the Donkey Kong uh, new the new Donkey Kong Country games. Yeah. 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 Ooh. I don't think it let me jump on that one. The one time I'll be like black and red is cool. <laughs> black and red is cool. Black it's, and red and white is very cool. Black and red and white are very cool. They're just so overused um, in a lot of ways. Like they're very, especially in gamer culture, it is so prevalent. No. Oh, okay. Like companies like, okay, okay. We spent the 2000s with black and red. What can we do? I got an idea. Add white. How about we add white? <laughs> Brilliant. Give this guy a hire. I wish it was that And then easy. Razor was just like, no, 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 no. I love we gotta black do and the, red, We got to do the complimentary color. So the people that hate black and red will reel them in. Well, you got to get some contrast in there with the black and the red and the white. Oh, okay. So what that do we was, do? I, I'm not running this one. Blue? No, no. That That's for chumps. <laughs> do green. Ah. Black and white and a color yeah. is just awesome already. Black is one of those great colors because black Please. pretty much you can take black and white and put it with any color and it can work yeah yeah black white and yellow is a, one of the only ones where it's like eh, it kind of works kind of doesn't that is really nice um just because screen. like there's not a ton of contrast but you take red you take like a neonish blue you take a green Yeet. you take an orange take a purple black white oh, purple <laughs> it's all good <laughs> I'm going to hope since it's zooming in that I can land just fine. <laughs> oh, you do a little flutter flop. Yeah. I uh, I wonder if I get like a double jump in this game or something. Because it seemed like some of the areas that are right back there where the constellations were. Mm -hmm. uh, there was like a uh, section where I could double jump to get up to a certain spot. <gasps> Special secret hidden spot. Oh, Three or maybe more not. things. Or you need them to continue. It's a Pokeball. Uh, I think we're it's, not playing that game. I think I need three of them to do something. To like Maybe to it. go back up or something. Probably. Yeah. I'm just glad that going down. Maybe that's like the end area. And like we're going to journey around. Yeah. And find more stuff. Well, I think we're going to uh, go back to that hub. 
with each, each of our constellations and keep building more. Mm, that would make sense. I don't know what it is about fantasy games, but when they have like floating rocks and stuff like that. I love like, drawing floating rocks. They're, they're so, so much fun. awesome. Yeah. Um, that was one of my favorite things. Did in, it a uh, lot in Final Fantasy. Yeah, Final Fantasy XI, when you first go to that continent for the Chains of Promethea. Yeah. Expansion, you're like, this is dope. This is lit. This is the shit. How do I stay here forever? And then the dragon <laughs> eats your face. You're like, you know what? Maybe I need to leave. <laughs> then they did it in Avatar and it was a little less cool. <laughs> what are they? Oh yeah, or like the, the you said Avatar, but I've been watching the Dragon no, Prince. Not, yeah. So I am my mind. I'm at always, the movie Avatar. Yeah, my mind always goes Ooh, to the Last Airbender. It's getting always. windy. Ooh, it's getting windy. I still remember when that came Whoa. out. And like Avatar's like fighting for the trademarks. It's like, but but Avatar came first. But it's like, but you trade, but he trademarked Avatar back in like 2001 or something like that. James Cameron. Oh, did he? What a jerk. It says Avatar and then the Avatar. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Last That's... Airbender, Legend of Korra. <laughs> the, it's just uh... when my mind goes to anything, it's just, oh know, no, Avatar. Oh, no. Ooh. Yeah. I like the whole organ piano yeah. music in the background. Hey, there's a little dude back there. Yeah, he's fine, though. Yeah, he's a, he's a, heavy, he's a hefty rock boy. That rock boy knows Whoa. where it's at. He's like, ah, oh, just another day in the mines. This is cool. I like all the little simplified architecture and everything that they're doing with the trees and then the weather vanes. It reminds me of an art buddy of mine. I haven't looked at his art in a while, but I used to have conversations with him. He was on DeviantArt for a long time, which that's dead. Um, <laughs> Are you sure? Because didn't a bunch no, no. of people go back there for a while? No, I mean, it's still around. It's still fine. Um, it's still got a lot of people, but just most artists are either on Insta, like most of like yeah. professional artists are either yeah. on Instagram or Twitter. And I'm leaning more and more towards Instagram because Instagrams are usually just posts of art. I don't like the format. Twitter has a better format. Yeah. But when I follow an artist on Instagram, it's just the art and it's just not like random what? conversations. I'm just like, ah, I just want to see art. Just I get that. What about, uh, what about, um, yeah, they're usually all good Pinterest or whatever. Too. Isn't that like an art one? Pinterest too, is or? great for like reference. Oh, okay. So, like, I don't know how great it is for like uploading stuff. I don't have a, uh, but in terms of like an art collection, it's the best art collection online. There's nothing really better. We have a ongoing board with a bunch of me and my art buddies from college. Hey, there, buddy. That's just a reference thing. If some of you have found my, uh, Instagram, if anyone remembers like the third. <laughs> So if anyone remembers like the 30 characters I did then like pen and ink and like an all in the sketchbook for the ink uh, inktober? No, no, not for inktober. It was for um it was just for a challenge my friend made. He just wanted to do a character a day over the summer. Mm. And I did like 30 of those in actually more than 30. I filled the whole sketchbook so it was like 60. Jeez. 60 in color all inked. Um those were all based on just different reference images that we created from the board that Pinterest is just great for. Like, if you need to find reference for something, anything, just go to Pinterest. Yeah. It's better than Google. I go on there when I'm looking for inspiration for D&D yeah. uh, type stuff. Less dicks. <laughs> I mean, there's probably still dicks. Are there dicks on, on in a Pinterest or, or what is you it? You might uh, be able to find Steph Instagram? Curry's dick on, you know, Steph Pinterest. Curry's dick? What? Yeah, that was the thing today. It wasn't, what? It wasn't actually his dick, though. That good Christian boy's not doing dick pics. Yeah, Come on. I was like, hold up. A, He's uh -oh. been with his girlfriend for so long, who's is now his wife, and he has like two kids now, three kids. I'm like, there's oh, no. Oh, well, way. then you can't have dick pics then. No, 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 no. <laughs> but like, he's super, like, always been super devout. I'm like, he could have a dick pic, but the chance that Curry took a dick pic and it got out. That's way too unlikely. Now, I still haven't seen the dick pic because I don't need to see... Like, <laughs> you don't need to see any dick. I've seen enough dicks. Like, I know what dicks look like. It's not going to phase me. <laughs> I know what they look like. But I don't I don't need to... What if it's an exceptional dick? Even then, I don't, I've seen a lot of <laughs> exceptional dicks. Like, I had... I was in art school, guys. I've seen dicks all the time. Yeah. That's why I'm like, let's go to Beta Breaker so we can see people walking around naked. Like, oh, I'm come good. on. There's only like... <laughs> Four visible dicks. At, There's only like four visible at any, dicks at any point in time. <laughs> at any point in time, I'm like, but that's just another, that's just a regular day in San Francisco. If you don't walk away seeing a dick, like, yeah, what are did you, you doing? really go to San Francisco? Did then? you really go to San Francisco? <laughs> Come I think on. I need to fall through the top to get to that one. I think you do too. Maybe you can break or just. I think I just come through the. I didn't just fall through. Maybe yeah. Maybe you can just like down air <laughs> or something like that to get through. There. Uh, I don't think this any of this is. Oh. oh. <laughs> Can, no. Is there any buttons you other? Oh. Huh? That's kind of like my sing button or whatever. Maybe she's saying like, "Oh, I don't have you don't have the ability yet." Yeah, I want to find the animator. I want to follow their stuff. He oh or oh her boy, oh or boy, they oh boy, or whoever oh, 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 oh. does the. Ooh, 
Got some Sonic the Hedgehog action yeah, going on. Yeah, like the little spinnies. That's cool. I love that she rolls up into a ball when she gets pushed away. Mm-hmm. I don't Sweet. think I can get that yet. I don't think so either. You're probably going to need some kind of power. I, th I think I get a double jump maybe and then bust through the bottom of it. Uh, I Because that one required three balls anyway, and I only got two balls. Yeah. And there's a lot of things I already like about this game, but I do like Silent Protagonist. Oh, no. I just like when a story oh, no. like Super Metroid or Link to the Past just throws you right into the game mm -hmm. and just like, hey, you'll figure it out as time is going on. Like, you'll figure out the story or Hollow Knight. Hollow yeah. Knight's another great new example of that kind of genre. Well, they gave a good tell for the, uh, like her using her singing power or whatever. And yeah. she's like, oh, I don't have it. And it's like, oh, well, in other words, you don't have the thing that you need in order to get to the section yet. So come mm -hmm. back later. Oh, oh there's there we your go. Power up. Nice. <laughs> Turn it to a block. That's cool. Hold X. Whoa. That's rad. <laughs> then I don't have to get knocked around by the wind. Sweet. <laughs> I turned into a block boy. There you go. You always wanted to be the womp womp or womp womp. <laughs> uh, womp. I think that's called womps, right? I think they're just called womps. <laughs> Big womps? King womp? King womp. Big Queen womp. womp? Square womp. Yeah, square womp. Womp, womp dump. Womp a dump dump. Okay, here's where we do it. There we <laughs> go. Bam. Boom. Ooh, do I, even I, don't get have like the, I don't have the third thing though. No, you don't. Maybe but I can just. You can keep touch. on going to the right though. Maybe I can just touch it and see what it does. No. No, I, I need the third. Interesting. Nice. <laughs> Thick girl. You know what it reminds me of, kind of? Um, you said a Hollow Knight earlier. Uh, uh, Nightmare King Grimm's music because of the organ music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fast. For sure. Like that kind of. I'm trying to think like Nosferatu, Castlevania, yeah, like Nightmare King Grim. I, the King Go Grim is like gothic style. Other than Zo, Grim is probably my favorite character in uh, Hollow Knight. Hmm. I just like his design. Yeah, I have to agree that it's pretty good. Um, He's also just got some dope animations. Yeah, Nightmare King, Nightmare King Grim was one of my favorites. I mean, Sisters of Battle was my favorite. Yeah, but Nightmare King Grim was probably my second. Cool. I feel like that was uh, the Hollow Knight team, and they may not be inspired by these artists, but just going like, oh man, this is where we get our Mike Mignola Hellboy shit in. Here we go. <laughs> Here's where we get our Castlevania reference into Hollow Knight by adding this cool kick-ass vampire gothic character. The smoke almost looks like water. It does. It looks like what they're doing for the animation is they're still using water. They're still inspired by watercolor because they're keeping like an opacity thing going on with it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's definitely computer generated, but man, it looks nice. This place is cool. Do I gotta bust it up? Oh, Boom. maybe. Boom. Ooh. Oh, we're going down. This almost kind of reminds me a little bit of Sundered as well. Yeah. Ooh, I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> yeah, just, just go all the way, Rockman. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ooh. Uh oh. Enemies? Anybody? Nope. Keep Just on going. Just gotta keep going down, I guess. Yeah. Ooh! Ooh. Into the darkness. Ooh. Whoa, that light is awesome. That's really good. <laughs> my, my balls are like, I can't keep up! I like that there's Whoa. even a shadow underneath. Not right here, but as you were falling, there was even like, oh, yeah. you're well, that's, yeah, the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was stopping the light from shining down. Yeah, that's smart. This I is love really that stuff. awesome. That's really cool. I don't know why every time I go to a place where I can go left or right, I go left first. Because, like, traditionally, you played, I'm you like... You played Metroid. Metroid is in brain, ingrained that in your brain. Like, I, always I didn't run play left. Metroid, though. It's subconscious. It's part of gaming culture. Like, every game after this is like, oh, I got to put... You got to go left first. Because traditionally in Mario games, you can only run right. There must be something to the left. <laughs> My airplane birds are flying away from me. They are. Um, butterflies. Uh, you know what I think it might have been? Uh, Metal Slug back in the day. Uh, if you run left slightly from the start, generally mm -hmm. there's like a secret or something. What the hell? Hmm. I think you can break some things. Maybe you can break through. Oh, maybe I got to cause like birds to come out. Oh. Oh, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Get more of them. Oh. Uh oh. Go block form again. Ooh. Oh. Whoa, okay, they're flying out with me. Interesting. Hey, Someone's wait. like, I want to do a black and white segment. That's not going to work in this game. Shut up. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen between. I'm going to do what I want. Well, now I got to go to the right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can. You can try. Yeah, I think it'll just make me fall. It's a roller coaster. Ooh. 
Yeah. I love how you can. Whoa. Ooh. I love how you can Ooh. jump at the end of them. Okay, dokie. Getting some like steampunk futuristic vibes, future it vibes. It kind of reminds me of that game that uh, we got offered to play, but we didn't have the time to play it. I think it was 30 Days to Mars or something like that. Oh, or, I don't think you ever showed me that one. Uh, I did. The uh, Bombardiers were actually playing it at the time. Uh, it was like a two. Ooh, it was like a two-player puzzle game type game. Huh. I do not remember it. Oh, oh. So you can go over to the right. Yeah. I was, uh, at one point it felt like one of those things knocked me to the side, so I was like, oh, huh, so can I interact sure. with them? And I wanted to make sure before I got to the very edge that, you know. God, color theory has gotten so good with, for some people. Yeah. I'm so glad people are just overusing, oh, let's just make the sky blue. <laughs> That's been always one of my pet peeves as an artist. I'll look at a comic book and be like, oh man, the cover art's so good, the colors is great, and you open the interior art and you're like, oh god, it's just blue skies and regular greens and grass and uh, colors have gotten much better over the years but for a while there it's just like god what about stained glass stained glass is nice stained <laughs> glass is really nice oh, i broke the i'd have table. to show some specific examples but man we, i'm i'm one of you like there's there's shows with really good color theory and then there's shows like Johnny Test which is just like oh God, kill me. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's painful. Johnny Test is always an example of like why am I not in the oh. animation history? I know I can do a better job than that. <laughs> just throw me on the color team. That's I one can of the ones it. where they're just like let's see if we could uh launch me up. Oh, maybe not. Or just uh, uh, I was going to say see if we can uh just get the the most basic shittiest thing out there. Yeah, and it's just like there's art in Johnny Test. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to shit on that show, but that I, was that was always I am. <laughs> that was always an example of I looked and I was like, that's the color scheme you came up. Like Total Drama Island has better color theory. Oh uh, yeah, it does. Total Drama Island as like actually has good art though. Like you can hate the show's concept and just find the show cringy, but in terms of like a distinct art style, mm -hmm. like it does that. Like you can not like it. Oh. But I don't think you can argue like, oh, it's not distinct. I was like, eh, it's got really, every character's got a unique silhouette and shape and look to them. Um, huh. Artistically and even oh. color wise, like in terms of backgrounds, I would just go down. Yeah. See what happens. Oh, I only I think it's I bring that up because there was a ways. kiddo that was watching that today in one of my classes. Like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that show. You really liked that show, didn't you? I liked the first season of Total Drama Island. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a good spoof on the Survivor genre, which I abhor. But mm -hmm. then I felt like it overstayed its welcome. It's one of those shows where, like, this is great for one season. You took it to six. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a bad idea. That mm -hmm. That's this show. It was probably fine after that, but... Oh, I think I know, know what I need to do. You know, like, yeah. once a show's, like, used its concept and, like, that was the concept, I'm not going to hate on artists for still making that show because, like, it's fine. Like, get your money. <laughs> um, but at the same time, it's just get like... Get your I, money. I, I'm tuned out. Uh, I'm a big believer in artists being able to get paid and get their money for the projects and stuff that they start. Yeah. Because it's, it's fucking hard enough and, like, you know, Marvel and DC have had a history of, like, you know what? Let's just not pay our artists for the characters they created. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's less than ideal. <laughs> Usually. Although, you know, they have a lot of clauses now that say stuff like, uh, it's you better know, if now. you create something while you're working here with your time here with us, we yeah. own the rights to it. It's, it's, it's kinda... something you know when you sign up. It's just some of the ways that Marvel back in the day treated the, like yeah. Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko and a lot of the artists, it's like, yeah, it's work for hire, but Jack Kirby basically created the Marvel Universe and died not really much better off and very bitter. And it's just really sad that someone that is so influential in our culture now mm -hmm. to have like died thinking like being like almost like Alan Mord, uh, but almost even to a greater degree is a bit of a bummer. <laughs> Who's Alan Mord? Alan Mord created uh, Watchmen. Oh. Yeah. And he's also huh. been shafted by the comic uh, comic book industry. Basically, Watchmen was always supposed to revert back to Alan Moore, but DC just kind of does this thing like Mickey Mouse where they just kind of keep on putting out new Watchmen stuff. So it keeps on getting pushed out and pushed out and pushed out. For the copyright claims. Yeah, for the copyright, copyright and everything yeah. like that on it. Yeah. As long as they do something, um, then it is, it's, you know, it's theirs. It still counts as theirs, yeah. Yeah. Whoop. This game's fun. It looks nice. I'm, I'm loving it. It's looking really good. 
I'm liking the the reds and everything that they're yeah. using for this section. I wonder if they're just gonna go through like every color or. I don't know, but I love the way that they break up the silhouettes for these things too. They know when to repeat stuff, mm -hmm. but they also know when to like slightly break it up. They're yeah. smart about that. Well, they are not using the same. Uh, yeah, because uh, like you look at like the X patterns, on like it's a bunch of it's reused assets, but they're reusing whoa, 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 whoa. them in different I don't think ways so, boys. to just slightly oh. break up the monotony. So it's like it still keeps that pattern. Uh -huh. It's still easy to read. But it's also not like super hard on them asset wise because like they can take those parts and kind of rearrange shift them. Shift and move them, yeah. And shift and just move them around and reuse a bunch of stuff. <gasps> oh, oh, nice. I was rewarded for my bravery. There we go. Rising on up. Yeah, this is this is really nice. Just like, just everything about it is really nice. It's dope and it's just a nice palette cleanser oh. too. After yeah. playing like really hard games or really like super like thought like heavy games like games like these are some of my favorite mm -hmm. no they're they're nice for when we were trying to get off of other games for a little while oh yeah. oh mm. i guess i gotta bro drop both of those down to complete it yeah I, there's oh ooh, maybe what? there's a way there's of a going. pattern yeah yeah uh, maybe you have to be in the right in the middle of both of them and push it down I but there is that center there's block. a little center thing no Interesting. Huh. Oh, so maybe I, you have to change the top thing first. See how that thing turns I around? I can't get up to it, though. Oh, you can't get up to that yeah, one? Yeah, I think what it's trying to do is, is show me... See if I can fall down. No, I can't. Because it feels like if you could get to that middle one, and you could well, slam on that... I can't get I know up you to can't it. get to it. I'm just thinking, like, if you could, like, maybe you're supposed to change how it looks, and that's how you can make it, like, fit the puzzle. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Nothing seems to happen unless I go off of it. Interesting. I wonder if I could... No, I can't go through the wall there either. Interesting. And it won't bounce you up? And no, uh, it'll. as soon as I let go, it, it doesn't bounce me up. What's That's what I thought it was going to do the first time. And it was going to go, woo! Yeah, because the parts don't fit, so you obviously have to like change it around. Huh. But I'm, I'm almost wondering... Cause they go at different levels depending on like how high I am to slam them down. Uh huh. But they all seem to go up at the same amount. At the same rate. <gasps> no. Is there anything to your either. right? Maybe I'll, I'll we, go back to the right. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's something else something. we need. No, I'm stuck here. And so <laughs> ends Greece. <laughs> Let's see if there's more stuff we can find or, or break open or something. Yeah, maybe go to the left all the way. I'm trying to look at like, cause they're doing it very artistically. Um, yeah, it feels like the light is pointing towards the left, so maybe there's something you got to do. That yeah. Way. Oop. No. It does look like the light is, yeah, indicating. Can you slam on that point? Uh, with all the like rocks and stuff over here. Yeah. No. Can you fall to the ground for that little area? Uh, like in the little circle. Can thing? I go down? No. It'll put me over to the. Uh... Well, I mean, like if you walk to the right now. And just fall. I already tried. It already won't let me oh, go through the wall won't here. Let you go through the wall. Okay. Yeah. And uh, can you I'll like use the like thing to drop look down up? here? No. All I have is jump in the stone move. If you push the control stick up, could it let you look up? No. Oh, uh, so it doesn't let you do a hollow knight thing. No. Okay. I don't know what it's doing or what it's asking. Can you interact with that little circle in the middle? Is there a button like you can press like X or Y or something like that? Oh, there we go. Oh, so Why wouldn't it let me do that earlier? Oh, weird. That was odd. Okay. Well, there and we go then. And then I got to hold them down to the point where I got I want to go. Oh, no. I guess it'll stay down. Oh, there you go. I thought I was going to have to like set the contraption and release when it was time Ooh, to that undo it. Oh, that didn't Ooh, work. Ooh, guess not. Go up for me. And huh. right. There we go. No! Ooh. I didn't know it was going to let me run off, run right off the edge there. Well, now we know. Come on. Whoa. Perfect. There. I'm going to go to the left. Okay, so that one stays. Yeah, they'll they'll all stay open, it, it looks there's, like. Yes, point up there. I don't think it's going to put me into a position to where I can't get back through. I think each section's going to have its own little I think thing. so, too. Oh, birdies. Ooh. Oh, they revealed the little uh little white spot. The little the little ball. Mm. 
How am I gonna be able to get that one though? Drop down? It won't let me drop down. I have to mm. like treat every ledge as a real like full thing. Be a full ledge. Full. I was able to tip one of them earlier. Maybe I can get this to go. Oh, maybe you get like a power up that lets you double jump maybe? I think I have to raise uh, levers or something because it looks like the section over here Oh yeah. Uh, raises up. Oh, maybe you can release that yeah. rig. Yeah, and then I can use it as a new platform. There we go. There. Oh, and it's just flying. It's it'll just it'll stop. By. It'll stop. There's a sure? ceiling. Which just keeps on going like the Willy Wonka <laughs> elevator. <laughs> maybe it won't stop. What the hell? No, it stopped. How the hell do I get down to the bottom now? Can't. Oh, I gotta wait it. Yeah, can. I gotta wait it. It looks like you can also get up onto that yep. ledge too. But yeah, floating continents. It's my jam. Anytime a game like introduces floating continents, like, let's go. Mm-hmm. Oh, how do I? Oh, you can't walk up on. Yeah, that. I'll have to like lower this. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna be yeah, hard. And then is. race it back up. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it until... Probably not, because that's probably your way back. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to race it up fast enough. Yeah, there's no way. It'll, it'll, it'll get to it before I do. What? I, I didn't go to the left, or I didn't go to the right here. No. Or wait, was I up north of here? You were up, I was. so you can go up again. Like, so there's still a now. couple paths for you to go. So that's probably like your next destination, but you have other things you can do instead. Yup. Let me on, please. There we go. And pop it up. Do I have enough? Uh, nope, I'm missing one no, more. No, you are still missing. There we go. Uh, there's gotta be another one over here. Just chilling out, right? Yeah, just hanging out. Just minding its own business. I like the little design of all this. This is cool. It is very nice. <laughs> Sound effects too. Looks uh, like that one dot is just following you now all of a sudden though. Uh, that's the sun, I think. Ooh. I think it's got like rings around it because it's so dark here. Gotcha. It's got like you're seeing the actual rays of sunlight. Ah, interesting. Hey big boy, you wanna come over here and hang out with me? They must have like Tim Burton-esque legs. Hey little crit critty, critty crawlies. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna break free, little dude. Break oh. free! No, oh, oh, it paused almost. me in midair. I was hoping it would go at the last second. We're gonna make a lot, of, bunch of little tiny ones. And there we go, freedom. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I want to go see where he went to. Hopefully, he opened up the next section. Hopefully. Where? There you are. Oh. Oh. Well, um, sure. Why not? <laughs> they, they're like little hermit crab spider boys. Cool. Thanks for that. There you go. You got a nice new home now. Thank you, bud. Yeah. Much appreciated. One of these days, one of those ones is not going to come up in time, and I'm going to just fall to my death. <laughs> just no. And just crush your soul. Got to start all the way back up at the type tippity top. Yeah. All Ooh. right. Give me my ball puzzle. There you go. Hell yeah. That's really cool. That's really cool. It's like the it star is really sky. Nice. Yeah, it's looking sweet. Mm hmm. Guys, gals, we will see you next time with more grease. Yeah. Beep, bop, boop. So far, this art is super impressing me. They're doing a very nice job. Ooh, even the menu's cool. Yeah, it's got the. Uh, it's got a lot of astrological stuff kind mm -hmm. of embedded into it. Almost like. What are they called? Astrolathes? I think, yeah. Astrolabe or lathe? I can't I'm thinking remember. of Astrologian from Final Fantasy XIV, but mm -hmm. I know that's based on something else.